Erica from the blog thesimplehomeplace.com and today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough bagels. All right, it is time to make these sourdough bagels. Now I apologize for this glare behind me. It is a beautiful sunny January day and I tried to put my curtains down but it's still there so I apologize. And if you didn't notice it, now you do, I'm also sorry. Um, but we are going to get these sourdough bagels started. Now, if you're new to sourdough, then you might not know that it will take some time to make any kind of bread product, something that you want to ferment. Um, so I'm going to be making these actually for tomorrow morning. It is about noon right now. And the first step in this process is to get the sourdough starter out of the refrigerator and then get it fed. Now what I like to do is when I take it out of the refrigerator, I will let it sit on my counter and come to room temperature. It kind of wakens it up a little bit um, and it doesn't take as much time from the time I feed it to the time that it's active and ready. Now you don't have to do this. You could take it out and feed it right away and it would probably be fine, but this is just what I like to do. So that's the first step. I'll take it out of the refrigerator, let it sit, and then the next time you see me, I will feed it. Quick note, if you are worried about following along and keeping track of all the steps and the ingredients, don't worry, I will leave a link to my blog post down below where it'll have all of the written instructions and the full recipe, so make sure that you check that out before you watch this video. It'll just probably help you a little bit as we go through this process. Um, yeah, just wanted to let you know that. that my sourdough starter has been sitting on the counter and it has come to room temperature. So now I'm going to go ahead and feed it and then I will let it sit for several hours until probably closer to the time I go to bed tonight. So nine or 10 o'clock, I will go ahead and make the bagel dough. And of course I will show you that whole process. So right now let's feed our starter and then the next time you see me, we will be making bagel dough. To make our sourdough bagel dough, first we're going to take one cup of our active sourdough starter. To that we're going to add one cup of warm water, then two tablespoons of honey, and two teaspoons of salt. Then mix that together thoroughly with a spoon and then we'll start to add our flour. Add two cups of all-purpose flour to your mixer, then attach the dough hook and start mixing. Once the first two cups of flour have been fully incorporated into the dough, slowly add the last cup and a half of flour, making sure that each part is incorporated into the dough before adding more. After a few minutes of kneading, check on your dough and make sure that all of the flour is incorporated. Sometimes in a mixer, at the bottom there will be little bits of dried flour and dough that need to be incorporated so you can use your hands to knead that in and then continue kneading with your mixer.
You'll know your bagel dough is ready when it is no longer sticky, it is super pliable, and you can stretch it without it easily breaking. Remove your dough from the mixer, then stretch it and shape it a bit to form a ball. Place it in a greased bowl and cover it with a damp cloth to ferment overnight. All right, good morning. It is the next day. I've got my cup of coffee and I am ready to make this bagel dough into actual bagels. So we are going to do that now. Our dough has been fermenting for about 12 hours or so. You could definitely let it go for closer to 24 hours if you wanted to, um, but I just am doing 12 hours because that's what's most convenient for me, but we still get all the good benefits of the sourdough. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our dough, we are going to cut it into eight pieces that are about equal size. Now you could go crazy and weigh everything if you want them to be super precise, I don't usually do that and sometimes they're all different sizes, but they're pretty close and I'm totally okay with that because we're just gonna be eating them and I'm not trying to impress anybody. But if you really do wanna impress somebody, you can weigh out your dough so that you have all equal parts. But we're going to do that and then I will show you the rest of the process. Okay, so let's take a look at our bagel dough. This is what it looks like. Now this dough is not going to rise a crazy amount and especially because it's winter for me it's going to take a lot longer to rise but you're not going to get it to be to the top of the bowl by any means so this is good it has risen a couple inches or so not not crazy but it doesn't need to um so now what we're going to do is take our dough out now you can put it on a floured surface but you don't have to I'm just going to kind of shape it a little bit. I'm not going to knead it. That's not really necessary for this. And there's a little air bubble. Okay, hopefully you can see this. The angles in here are a little bit difficult to get. But what I'm going to do is kind of press it out, kind of like a pizza. And I'm going to use a bench scraper. You could use a bench scraper, a sharp knife. It doesn't really matter. I just like to use these because they're easy to hold on to. And I'm just going to cut it into eight equal pieces. Okay, so now you've kind of got your pizza, if you will, and each of these pieces is going to be one of your bagels. So I'm gonna to try to bring you a little bit closer so you can see how I shake these bagels. And then what we're going to do is place them on a lined baking sheet. I just have a silicone mat, but you could do parchment paper or something like that. Um, and then we are going to let them rest for another one to two hours. So like I said, it is a labor of love, but they are well worth it. So stick with it and you will be impressed. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my little slices here. And if you can kind of see the cross section here, I like to take that part and start shaping it into a ball. So I kind of take my thumbs and move them to this side. And I do that until I've got a ball. And this is kind of what I would do if I was making um, rolls or something like that. That's how I like to shape them. Then what I do is I'll turn it around and where you've brought all of the edges together, there's some creases, so I take my thumb and I poke it through. So now you've got your hole. And I just like to take my index fingers and kind of stretch it. And as I'm stretching it, I'm also squeezing. And this kind of helps it to be a uniform shape on the outside. Now you can make this hole pretty big because as it, as it sits and sets up, that dough is going to rise just slightly and that hole will get smaller. So don't worry about that. So again, stretching and squeezing. And so you've got that bagel shape. And I'm just going to place it onto my lined baking sheet and I'm going to do that with all of these.
Okay, so our bagels have been rising for the last two hours or so. I've got them right here. And then I've got my big pot of boiling water. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add my brown sugar and baking soda. So we need two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of baking soda. And be sure when you're adding the baking soda to be careful because it can make the water rise up quite, quite violently. So just make sure you pay attention to that. Okay, now that I've got the baking soda and brown sugar in there, I am going to place the bagels, probably three at a time, into the boiling water, and we're going to boil them for about two minutes on each side, and then we'll place them back on the baking sheet, and I will explain how to add the toppings then. So just awesome. gently add your bagels in. There you go. Two. And they will float to the top eventually. I'm just gonna set a timer for two minutes. Okay, they have been boiling for two minutes. Now I'm going to use, this is a spider. You could use a, sl a slotted spoon, something like that. And we're just going to flip them over. Maybe. And boil them for another two minutes on the other side. Okay, so now that we have boiled all of the bagels, it is time to put our toppings on. So there's lots of different options that you can do. You can do a cinnamon sugar, cheddar, jalapeno, everything but the bagel, an egg wash, it really whatever you wanna do. And I have on the blog how you can do different things. But what we are going to do today is everything but the bagel and an egg wash. Now, if you don't wanna do an egg wash, you can just put your seasoning or your toppings on there right away while they're still wet. So you'll be doing it as they come out of the water or you can do an egg wash on all of them and then do your seasoning on top. So that would be for sesame seeds, poppy seeds, all of that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush an egg wash all over all of them and then I'm going to do the everything but the bagel on half of them. So to do an egg wash, all I did was I took one egg and added a little bit of water in here and then mix it up and then I'm going to brush it onto all of them first. Final step is to bake your sourdough bagels at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes or until they are golden brown. So there you have it, sourdough bagels. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it. If you liked, subscribed, hit that bell notification so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And I hope you enjoy your sourdough bagels. Have a wonderful day.